All right, so last year I, I did a video. I did a couple videos, but I remember the first video I did when I said, who am I buying in fantasy football? And that was a video talking about that I was buying Nico Collins because Nico Collins had just messed, missed out on the superstar badge that I rarely give out. He was drafted closer to the end of the third round. So he would have had to be drafted in the second round to get that badge. And, and now just, just learning since I rarely give out this badge, the people that earn this badge are, are had a chance to earn this badge, never produce like their rookie year. They it never really produced their rookie years. So, I'm gonna start have to start drafting these rookies. Um, I'm gonna have to start drafting these players their second year and third year, and just hope this 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 badge shows itself. So there is a player this year. Well, actually, last year he he was he was a part of last year's draft class that has started to show himself that was 11 picks off from earning this badge. Cedric Tillman, I have been trying to trade for him in every league. And I, I should have went strongly after him on a waiver wire in every league two weeks ago. That's, that's my bad. I wasn't, I wasn't on my stuff, but Hey, when you start producing and I, I, I know you, this is a badge you could have earned. Now I gotta go after the, the you strong, and I've been sending out strong offers and like every redraft league offers and every dynasty league, and I've been getting turned down. And I'm used to getting turned down just for me being me. People would rather beat me than ever trade with me. And one league I sent Jaden Reed and Chubbard Hubbard for Tillman. Now. I think, and if I'm not mistaken, this for a person, this this for Tillman that he didn't even start. Most of the people I'm trading for didn't even start Tillman. I'm I'm sending I'm sending trades, starting players for a player you didn't believe in. In most of these leagues, most of the leagues, they, people did not start Tillman, and I'm sending them starters for a player that didn't let I start. Now all of a sudden, like he a commodity. Now he could bust it, like. He could have a bad game this next week. I don't know. Like, I don't know if his if his success is linked just strictly to Wilson. Winston. So I don't know if another quarterback can come in and he show the same success. But I'm betting on my badges, my research. Even though he didn't officially earn that badge, like when I did, a, I did a video on him. That's why I'm not going to do a video on him on um, this season because I did a video on him last season, and I, I it wasn't very favor it wasn't very favorable towards him. But I mentioned I, I not only mentioned that he just messed out on a special badge, and I said if he would have earned that badge, he was currently like ranked wide receiver. 24 in that class. If he would have earned that badge, I would have ranked him wide receiver four. That is a huge difference. That's how much that badge would have helped him. So, um, I just got to believe this is a badge that, you know, like people just don't automatically um, produce having, you know, um, and I'm gonna have to start naming my badges that people could have earned. That's like uh, maybe potential badges or dirt or dormant badges, like uh, the badges people could have earned. And with that, if you're not able to get Tillman, you know who you could go after. You might have to wait till the season over, or you could try to see if you can get him now. But Rome or Doomsday actually earned the badge. He earned the superstar badge. So I earned so I have so much of him in leagues. 
So if you able to go after him, and I don't know if he ever going to do anything in redraft this year, so you might have a great discount for next year to draft him because I'm going to be drafting him everywhere. Um, and I probably shouldn't have put that out there. I didn't mind putting out that I was going for, you know, going out there for um, Tipman because I sent out my trades. But, um, man, people I play in leagues, leagues would be um, looking at my channel. So um, they already know. Uh, that I want a doomsday too. So, but yeah, he actually earned the badge. A doomsday, but right now he just got too many mouths to feed. But um, you can't count on Keenan Allen to stay healthy, and he's gonna eclipse Keenan Allen, uh, and eventually he'll eclipse um, DJ Moore. So, you know, and I love DJ Moore as a prospect, but. Um, yeah, so that's the deal. Um, go out and get Tillman if you can, and whether it's redraft or dynasty. Um, you know, and if you can't get him, go out and get a doomsday and dynasty. Um, redraft. I said if if Keenan Allen get injured, then be aggressive. But I can't be. I can't aggressive goals at a go after a doomsday. Not know you know just to sit him on my bench because I I don't I would not start a doomsday uh, unless this was a super deep league. I do play in a fourteen man league where I, if I had a doomsday I might be forced to start him because on in my league it's fourteen man and you must start three wide receivers, three wide receivers, two running back and two flexes. It's two or three flexes. I don't remember, but anyway. Peace.